My name is Nick Mudio. Um, started wrestling when I was four. Dad got me into it and never stopped since. It's a good sport. It's hardworking. It's keeps you going, honestly. It's better than being like anything else to me. Um, I don't know, I've loved it since day one and I don't think I'm ever gonna stop. My name is Ed and my son is Nick and um, part of the reasons I have such a passion for the sport of wrestling is that uh, back, at the, back in high school when I wrestled, uh, the prep school that I wrestled for, we actually started the wrestling program um, so it's a lot of history behind it, being one of the founding um, team members of the sport in our high school. Wrestling has taught me self-reliance, discipline, hard work, um, how to be a good person, how to be a friendly, just having good sportsmanship. It's taught me, taught me everything. I love the sport. Unfortunately, I couldn't wrestle and continue to wrestle in college. I had to work and start my, my life and go to school. Um, just didn't have the opportunity to, uh, but I wish I would have. And, and I've instilled a, got Nick into the sport and uh, at an early, early age and founded the club to make it more convenient for, for, uh, for wrestling in the area. I've been wrestling so long, I don't remember my first day of practice. And yeah, I don't remember anything from when I was little. Um, I've sacrificed a lot of things when I was little. It was birthday parties, going over to a friend's house just to go to a tournament, um, eating what I wanted, um, just having to cut weight all the time, and just putting in the grind and just practicing most, most. Um, I like wrestling because it's not like a team sport, it's more of one-on-one. -on -one. It's more of you and somebody else. And it's just all the pressure's on you to win. And it's just nice when you do win, nice when you compete against other people because you can show who's better. His freshman year, he, uh, he had a very successful record. He placed third in the region. He went on to qualify as a state at, at, on the state tournament. And um, his sophomore year, he did, uh, he qualified for, he won the regional after a very severe injury and then he went on to uh, qualify for the state tournament. Uh, he hasn't placed at, at the state tournament uh, his freshman or sophomore year, but he's been there. So he knows what it's like. He's been at those high level competitions since he was young. So he's always understood um, what goes on in a, in a two day, three day event um, where the pressure's on and your pressure cooker is going and you have to know how to perform and everything you've learned over the years and put it to work and perform out there on the mat in front of thousands of people. Um, you know, like I've always told him and many of the wrestlers that we've coached throughout the years is that you don't win on the tournament floor, you win in the practice room, you win right here in this room. This is where you make your, your, your success happens here in this, in this room. All the grind, the sweat, the blood, sweat, and tears that come out of, um, out of this room to move, uh, to move you to the next level. I'm Blake Risk and I'm uh, Nick Muscio's head wrestling coach at Wake Forest High School. Uh, I've been with him since about July or August of last summer, so about seven, eight months. And when I first started working with Nick, uh, he was a good, already a good wrestler, uh, good technique, but there was some holes that needed to be uh, filled in. Uh, had good technique, but I think some of the things that I helped bring to him were situational direction. Uh, one thing that he really improved on was his takedowns, his double leg, his finishes. Uh, and one thing I really hounded on him getting better on was his setups. I felt that if he can set up his shot every time that he could finish every shot. So, um, and then also working on his front headlocks. 
showing him how to have short arms, uh, to stay off his knees and be light on his feet, uh, I think really helped evolve his wrestling game. And then just changing his attitude towards the match, never being scared, always pressing forward, always being aggressive, and even when he got the first takedown, not relaxing and just hanging on to a two-point lead, but building on that lead, getting two more back points, three more back points, turning him again, building up that score to maybe hopefully either breaking the kid's will and then pinning him or just tech following him. I think uh, Nick has done an outstanding job this whole season just getting stronger mentally more than physically but learning how to just dominate and break opponents and I think that's what's helped led him to be an undefeated wrestler this year and I'm, I'm looking forward to see how he does as a, a number one seed at state this year. Uh, we're hosting the regional tournament this week. Uh, two weeks ago we had the conference tournament and we did very well. We had five in the finals um, and four actually win the conference championship, the individual conference championship. My son Nick Mudio, the 120 pounder, his journey from the start of the season through the whole um, the whole season has been uh, very exciting to watch him compete and watch him perform. Uh, he's worked very hard and um, we expect uh, some great things hopefully in the next week. Uh, we're excited about our run to the state finals, uh, to the state championship finals. So um, I hope that we can, we can make it. Last weekend we had conference and Nick wrestled extremely well. Uh, he wrestled like he's been on the mat. Uh, he, he practices every day, twice a day. He went out there, took care of business. I think maybe, I would as well say, maybe gave two points. Nick, you ready to wrestle? Yeah, I'm tired though. You ready? I'm ready to win. How much you cutting? About like seven pounds this week. Seven pounds? Yeah. Are you cutting the most on the team? Uh, I think so, yeah. Had a wonderful first day. He won his first two matches, uh, dominated his opponents. Now today he's in the semifinals. Got a really tough match, but I think it's a match he can overcome as long as he keeps doing how, uh, the, the things that he's been doing to wrestle tough. Welcome to day two. It's day two here at uh, Wake Forest. We have uh, four guys that are in the semis, semifinal matches. Nick had a great match. He had a first period pin. We're excited about today. We hope to. Uh, to make it through the day very successful. Semi-finals match. 
Put him away quick. How do you feel? Feel good. Just ready for the finals. Just trying to get him over with. So I'm gonna go home. Then I'm gonna go to go get some rest. Yeah, and go food. Get, go get something to eat. Um, good meal tonight. But, yeah, I'm just ready to wrestle. Champ, what you gonna go, go eat tonight? <laughs> Applebee's. <laughs> We're here at uh, WFWC Matt Room. Even though it's snowing, the weather looks nice. The boys are working hard. Be getting in some good workout before the state tournament. Look up. Wrestling is a sport that uh, you develop lifelong friendships with, with your wrestling and drilling partner. Nick has been fortunate to have a, uh, a drilling partner uh, for about eight years now. Uh, they've been drilling hard together. Anthony Brito, although he doesn't go to Wake Forest High School, he goes to another nearby high school, Heritage High School. Nick and him have been club partners and wrestlers and they drill year round uh, in this room. Uh, they started at a very early age and uh, they've developed into uh, lifelong friends. We're heading to the state tournament. It's Thursday, about five o'clock. Um, the last two days have been extremely, extremely stressful with the drama going on with the snow and the ice and the cancellation. We were supposed to start competing today and um, it looks like uh, everyone will have to head up to Greensboro tomorrow. We're gonna try to get up there tonight to get some, some rest, but uh, it looks like the school system is gonna allow the tournament to continue to happen. And we hope to uh, to come back and with a successful tournament. Hey, we're here day one of the North Carolina High School Athletic Association Championship. Nick has uh, two matches today. Uh, the first one should be pretty good. Next one, he's wrestled the kid that he's wrestled three times before. Hopefully, uh, we can uh, we can. Uh, show up and have a good match.
here we are on day two, trying to soldier our way back through the consolation rounds, all the way to third. Nick uh, will have uh, his first round match to a, a local kid out of Fuquay, and we got a wrestle talk. Wrestling for third, consolation finals, last match of the day, third and fourth place match. I'm very proud of them. This is all comes down to uh, to this match right here. S season's over after this match. Hey, you gotta watch this. Let's go. <laughs> Circle, 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 circle. Keep circling, keep circling. Move your feet. Good. On his back. Slam! It's already bruised up. He's already hurt on that shoulder too. Heard it before. Yes. He's or anything like that before. Oh my God. He's I mean, anything like that. And his quarterfinals, he got slammed harm already. Okay. You're gonna be able to wrestle fine. Can you wrestle fine? If you can't wrestle fine, you don't have to. But he can protect himself. We can't use this as an excuse. You gotta go before we gotta go. All right, we gotta man up. All right, let's go. You guys stay tight! Stay tight! Stay on the mat! Hey, know where you're at! Out, that's one! Out of boy! Out of boy, Nick! Nick, I need you to fight through this! Let's score! Take down Windsor, let's go! Match, buddy. Hey, I'm proud of you, buddy. Hey, way to battle through it. I'm proud of you, buddy. Way to battle through it. You never gave up. You never gave up. Doctor. 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 He got slammed on it again. He fought through and won. And this time it was an illegal slam and he actually got a point for it. Yeah. He could have quit, but he kept going. Okay. 
Okay. Take a step. Just kind of relax for a sec there. Don't change your breath. Yeah, you just keep it in. Let's take a breath there. Hey, you sold it back to third, bro. Most people would have got hurt and quit. You sold it back to third. Not Nick. Well, I'm going to take it. I got it. I was out. The only thing we had to do inside was a little bronze. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we don't North Carolina State tournament's over. Nick had an awesome match. He actually uh, could have laid down and folded, but he uh, he finished the match and he came up victorious. That's uh, until next year. We'll. Uh, We'll continue to work hard.